Well, let's see about typing a little math and putting it in a report. Um, I think probably the easiest way that everybody has access to is um, typing stuff into decimals here. So what I've done is, you know, I, I say something like we have V equals L times W times T. So using the product rule we have and so then I might start my uh, stuff here and I want dv dt, right? So dv uh, divided by dt and I'll come out and say equals and um, you know I could do something like uh, the derivative of um, Lw like that uh, divided by the dt. Uh, notice this stuff keeps popping up but I don't care. I'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, and then that's times rt. Whoops, I made mistakes here on my t's. Uh, I gotta be careful there. That's a lowercase t for time, right? So I have that and then uh, plus uh, L W and then um, the uppercase T. Now I gotta be careful here, I'll just highlight that part and do the fraction and then DT. And so there is my uh, first part of my product rule uh, with the three items. And now to to put this into my report, I'll just hit here hit all and what that does is it just gets all that stuff out of there so I've got this nice uh, picture here and I could always make this bigger you know I can do a control plus to uh, make make that the you know a really large uh, image when I do a, a, a control print screen so now I'll do my control print screen and so that's copied this whole screen and I can come back here and uh, I'll hit enter and do a control V or paste and there we have it and then word and other word processors usually have some sort of cropping tool for the image so there's my cropping tool and uh, I'm just gonna grab stuff and and bring it down around uh, the equation here and so I have that and then I'm going to grab it and just move it up you know, so it's under here and there we go I have a very nice equation uh, now, and, and if I think that's too big, I should make it more the same size as this other type. Well, I can do that. I can um, either shrink it uh, within here, because uh, once I have it there, right, I could, um, you know, kind of bring it in like this and make it smaller type. You know, once I, once I have the picture, so that looks good. Um, but again, I could make it bigger if I want to, to really show it. And then probably the only other thing I would do, well, now I see I've got that little line in there. If, you know, um, I maybe should have gotten rid of that. Uh, but I can always do that, I think, if I go back to crop image and I come in here just a little bit, uh, that would get rid of it. And so that's gone. And so I have this nice looking equation and, um, uh, relating the rate of change of volume with uh, these others and then you know I can uh, go down and do the product rule for the uh, L and W here um, if I want to and uh, you know so I can just kind of keep going with this but that makes a nice flow the only other thing I'd suggest is notice how the math type uh, kind of italicizes these things what you might want to do is in something like this just go up here and and say you'd like it uh, italicized and so now you see it looks more like the other stuff so um, 
So there, you know, that's a nice, quick, easy way to add some math in. And actually, you could, you know, I, I suppose I could have even put it here because, right, I could, I could insert an image in, inside of my uh, prose here. But usually, for inline stuff, I might not have to really worry about it. Italicizing it is usually enough. Uh, but then I can just. Uh, get a picture like this for my equation. So there we go. Okay, there's putting some uh, math type setting into your report.